Hey guys, today we are recreating the signature cocktail at the Zoe's Lounge in the Chateau Laurier in Ottawa, the Statesman. Let's do it. Now, Zoe's Lounge is a wonderful little restaurant and cocktail bar located inside the Chateau Laurier Hotel in downtown Ottawa. My wife and I went there for our wedding anniversary last year, and I gotta say, amazing food and awesome cocktails, especially their signature drink, the Statesman. I would describe this as kind of a somewhere between an old-fashioned and a whiskey sour, but the reason it's a real showstopper is that it's served to you inside of a smoke box. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So I really liked, I really enjoyed this drink, and I thought to myself, why not try to recreate this at home? So here are the ingredients as per their menu. So Canadian Club 100% rye, uh, Laphroaig scotch for some smokiness, some maple syrup, some house bitters, cedar smoke, and fresh lemon. So with a little bit of research, I was able to find the measurements of each ingredient. So with that said, let's do it. Now it just so happens that the Canadian Club 100% rye happens to be my favorite whiskey for cocktails. So I obviously have quite a large bottle. So we are going to do two ounces of our Canadian rye whiskey into our mixing glass. And next up, our fresh lemon. We're gonna do a half an ounce of lemon juice. Now I know what you're saying, lemon in an old fashioned, um, kind of weird. But like I said, this is kind of like halfway between a, um, a sour and an old fashioned. Next up, some quality Quebec maple syrup. Half an ounce as well. Next up is our bitters. Um, now the menu said house bitters, so I have no way of knowing you know, how they make their bitters. So I'm just gonna go with two dashes of Angostura bitters, so pretty classic. But I'm also going to do another two dashes of these Wild Muskoka Forest Fire Bitters. So I'm hoping this will kind of complement the smoke flavor by adding some woody notes and smoke notes to the drink. So a couple squirts of those. We are then going to add some ice to our glass. Now I know I left out the Laphroaig. Um, it didn't specify, but since we want to accentuate the smoke flavor of the scotch, I'm going to float those on the drink afterwards. So drop your spoon in and commence stirring. All right, like all stirred drinks, we want to stir for about 10 to 20 seconds. Uh, you know you're done stirring when the ice settles into the glass and you can stir with ease and it becomes a lot easier. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that button and then hit that bell. Otherwise, you're not going to know when we upload new content, which we're doing twice a week. Okay. Stirring done. Right, so we're gonna grab our glass. We're gonna serve this in a rocks glass. We're going to give it a nice big ice ball. Now, I'm a little annoyed my ice ball didn't freeze properly. So we have a nice cloudy, uh, not a nice, but an ugly cloudy cap on the top of the ball. But hey, what are you gonna do? All right, slow sexy pour into the glass. You see that cloudy top? That's gonna bug me so much. Ugh. All right. Okay, so last ingredient, our Laphroaig. So we're gonna do a quarter cup, a quarter cup, a quarter ounce, my God, half the bottle onto the glass. So a quarter ounce and just drizzle it on top of the glass. So that, that smoky flavor from the scotch is going to be, you know, present every time you bring the drink up to your nose. And for garnish, we have a lemon peel. So grab your peeler, don't cut yourself. All right, and you know the drill. We're simply going to squeeze it, express some of those oils, and then stick it behind the ice. Okay, drink's looking good. We have one more step, the smoke. So I'm gonna grab a nice wood plank and gonna get my Breville smoking gun. Got this for Christmas. It's awesome. Now I have this dome that I to use for smoking, but it doesn't fit the glass. So I had to improvise a little bit and I found this old flower pot that can go over the glass just like so. So we're gonna stick the uh, hose in there and then we're gonna light our cedar chips and ooh, <laughs> smoke is going everywhere and fill our flower pot dome thingy with some smoke. 
All right, now we just want to let it chill in that smoke for about 30, 40 seconds. So sit back, wait. We've got a nice big chunk of ice in there, so your ice is not gonna, your drink's not gonna cool off. Don't worry about it. Good opportunity to tell you to find me on Instagram, Rob IMX. I'm on there and posting all the time. All right, just do a slow motion reveal. And there you have it, guys. There is your Statesman cocktail. Um, this is a really good cocktail. Like I said, it's it's sweeter and more sour than an old fashioned, thanks to the uh, the lemon and the maple syrup. Um, but it's still really good for as a sipping cocktail. And of course, that amazing smoke from the Laphroaig and from the cedar smoke. Um, just a really enjoyable cocktail. If I were to make any changes from it, I would dial back the lemon and the maple syrup just a tad. Uh, maybe bring it to a quarter ounce. But still really good cocktail uh, make it at home if you have the ingredients and if you're in ottawa head over to zoe's lounge at the chateau Lerie and order yourself a statesman all right guys that's it for the video uh, comment below leave a like don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time cheers